hey guys and welcome back or to my youtube channel today i am filming a reading vlog this is the second reading vlog that i'm doing the first one was on shadow and bone which was the first book in the series and i actually finished all three books and i loved it the, the last book was my favorite but this video is not about that this video is all about the book that i'm now reading or about to start reading which is called small pleasures by claire chambers the cover i'm reading on my kindle it's kind of sad that i read on kindle like video wise because i can't like film me like flipping through pages which i think always looks like cute <laughs> but alas we're eco-friendly and also kindle books are cheaper so i love my kindle really i will just read to you and also to me what the book is actually about on goodreads so i actually added this book to my to be read list on goodreads and it just happened to be on kindle for a pound so this is what the cover looks like this is on my ipad and i actually haven't even had it in my tbr for very long i added it to goodreads on the 24th of june which is like three weeks ago four weeks ago i'm not even sure um but it was on the kindle deal for a pound so i had to buy it yeah so let me just read the blurb of the book 1957 south east suburb of london james sweeney or sweeney is a feature writer on a local newspaper disappointed in love and on the brink of 40 living <laughs> living a limited existence with her truculent actually this is why i don't remember that i don't even know how to say the words and pronounce names and stuff. Trucellant? Trucellant? Don't even know what it means. Um, yeah, let me just skim it and then I'll like give you a brief um, thing because I'm getting embarrassed. <laughs> I think the gist is as a woman, she's like 40 and she is a newspaper writer, is it? she's a journalist for a newspaper and she gets contacted and the person who contacts her is like, like I'm basically Virgin Mary, I've had this kid and yeah. So she goes to investigate and she ends up falling in love with the woman's husband but also becoming best friends with the woman and then there's some kind of dark twist or something. I don't know, she's unlucky in love. She wants to find someone new. She finds this man but he's married. I don't really know. Anyway. The rating on Goodreads is four out of five stars, 4.02 out of five. Um, so yeah, all of the reviews that I've like glanced at say that the ending is bad. So we'll have to wait and see for that. I wanna make this as spoiler free as possible. So I'm really gonna try not to ruin anything. And if you are watching this and you've read it already and you wanna like say anything about the book, make sure you put like a spoiler warning before the comment yeah because i'm sure i want to talk about it at the end um also let me know if you have any book recommendations for me just leave them down below and let's get started with the book here we go yeah i wish i had like the book so i could flip the pages but you have to deal with me literally just staring at this little thing <laughs> I'm gonna just kind of share my thoughts, my feelings whilst we go through the book and then also like any lines that stick out to me and yeah. So if you have read the book you like kind of understand what I'm talking about and if you haven't it should still be kind of interesting to you, I hope. <laughs> I just really love reading vlogs so I thought I would do one too and yeah if you're not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to watch my first reading vlog before this one it will be linked up here okay i'm gonna read you the first line of the book so that we're all on the same page rail disaster rush hour train collides in thick fog many dead so i think we're starting on like a news article because the main character is a reporter tragedy struck office workers and christmas shoppers on the evening of 4th of december when two trains collided in thick fog under the nunhead flyover Okay, so I'm gonna get stuck in and I will talk to you in a minute. The first chapter actually starts, oh my god, the first chapter is actually starting on June 1957, so the little news article at the beginning I think is a bit of foreshadowing <laughs> about some kind of train crash. It's happening like six months later, so I don't know. I don't know what that means, but it must mean something. Okay, so I've just finished the first chapter of the book. I'm a bit confused about how it ended. It ended with this little 
segment here. Um, saying that sawdust is an excellent cleaner for carpets. Relevance, I'm not yet sure. But yeah, so just got a little bit of insight into Jean's life at work and at home, like the kind of people she works with. And she's like 40 years old living with her mother and her sisters like moved away. They used to be really close and now her sister lives in Kenya. And yeah, but her life like living with her mom, she literally has like no freedom except like twice a week when her mom has a bath. <laughs> I also forgot that it's set in like 1957 I think it is. There was like a bit where they said that they pay the cleaner in like shillings and I was like what? Old time money you know? But yeah so far so good. Nothing really given away. Yeah. I literally don't even know what's gonna happen. <laughs> kid was born on my birthday <laughs> but like 50 years before wait 48 years before okay so i'm just getting ready for bed and i'm gonna read in bed but i've just finished chapter seven i think and so far i've been introduced to the husband who's like gonna be the potential love interest i'm also seeing like the friendship forming between like the main character and like the mum so yeah all exciting i'm invested in the story now i'm 22 percent in so like a fifth read so far so we're just getting some facts at a time but i don't have enough to like know what's gonna happen or what's happened so far um which is like what's really interesting to me and that's why i want to keep reading because it's like i need to find out more information about the book and about the story so yeah just gonna read in bed until I probably will fall asleep and I'll update you in the morning. Good night. It is the next day and I'm reading in bed again. Um, I just wanted to mention something. Obviously it's set in the past and so like the language is a bit different than how we speak now. Um, but it's kind of annoying me <laughs> the way they keep saying like, oh, um, perhaps you'll remember us to her if you find her or like oh remember me to her and i'm like why don't you just say like you basically it's like why don't you just say tell her i was thinking of her or like let her know that i say hi or whatever and they're like remember me to her remember us okay <laughs> just weird weird thing to say I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's raining so much right now. And it's like perfect being cozy and reading vibes. I'm kind of really excited for like autumn. I know it's like, we're literally in the middle of summer right now. And we've like been having heat waves and stuff and I'm just not a big fan of like hot weather. So yeah, I'm really excited for autumn to come and like cozy cups of tea and, like reading my book in a blanket kind of vibes i think that like in september i'm gonna do like a read harry potter with me because i really want to reread harry potter so i think i'm gonna do a series of reading all of the books because there's seven books um i don't know if it's gonna be like seven different videos or what i don't know i haven't really come up with that much of a plan yet but just the idea if you're interested in something like that let me know down below and yeah big horn time to continue reading i've read like a few more chapters since i last updated not too much has happened there's been like a lot of like background discovery into the life of the not the main character but the main character like the woman who is being investigated basically the text is really easy to read in the fact that there are different mediums like one chapter was like a email and like some of it's like diary entries and stuff so it is actually really easy to read and i feel like i'm getting through it quite well quite quickly i'm currently 36 percent through the book which is really good i'm now just about to start chapter 12 
you can see that. So I'm starting chapter 12. And yeah. I'm really interested to know what the twist in this book's gonna be because it did say in the like blurb that there was some kind of dark twist or something dark was gonna happen. And yeah, I'm interested to see what that's gonna be. I've just finished the chapter and it's ended on such a comment like it says the last thing I want is to cause any trouble Quote. in the months ahead she remember this remark so sincerely felt and marvel at her in instance so she's about to cause some trouble y'all Okay, so I need to talk about this love interest in the book because I don't, I don't understand it. I don't see where it's come from, literally. All that has happened so far is the main character has opened up to this guy and been like, this is my life, this is what's happened in my life and this is like, you know, why I am how I am and this is how I'm like, feeling kind of thing. And suddenly she's like, I love him. And I'm like, I don't, why? <laughs> like, the bar is so low. He's really done, like, nothing. And she's in love with him. And also she says something like, oh, his, like, loyalty to his wife is one of the things I love him, which is one of the reasons I can't have him. And I'm like, I, I don't see it. I don't see the romance between them. Like, maybe I'm just missing out or it hasn't been shown properly yet. But I don't see the connection there and it's like one of the main themes of the book so <laughs> I don't know if I'm just being skeptical but I, I really don't understand why or how she's fallen in love with him. I'm only halfway through so far so hopefully all will become clear. I'm really still not sure what the twist is going to be. Please reveal yourself. I bet it's going to be in the last like two or three chapters when they reveal the twist and everyone hated the ending. So, I don't know. There have been some developments in the story. There's been a twist, a little twist. I mean, I didn't see it coming, um, but it kind of does make sense. And it's kind of like, it's very hard to, to speak about books without actually spoiling what's happening in the books. <laughs> but yeah, so there's been a twist. And I don't know if it is the twist that the book blurb described and this is actually why I don't like reading the blurbs of books before I read them because I'm expecting something more and I don't know if like that is it like that was the twist and it's actually like a nice story um it wasn't a good like for the characters it wasn't really like a good twist like but also it's kind of as if like the whole situation like from the start of the book was like orchestrated by somebody and like it's all kind of falling into place so I don't know if it's like a good book and like it's a nice wholesome story and I'm just like skeptical and thinking there's gonna be like a big twist and it's like this guy's a murderer or something like I just don't know if that's gonna happen I've got like where is my book actually I've got like 60 pages left I mean to be honest a lot can happen in 60 pages it's only like a 300 page book anyway but I don't know. I was expecting some big kind of like, kind of twist. Like I was gonna be shocked, but maybe not. Maybe it's like a tame twist and I'm just like expecting more than it is. And but there is still a few unansered questions at the moment. I keep saying like, oh, I'm gonna go to a nice cafe, a nice cozy cafe to read. And then I don't, so sorry that this video is literally the whole thing's been filmed in my flat but what can I say other than that though I am kind of enjoying the story I don't really I don't think it's gonna be like a five star read but it's good the twist might come still but there has been a twist and I don't know if it's the twist that's like I don't know
one of the characters in the book, because it's set in the past, right, has an iron lung, and I'm just not sure what it is, so... We're gonna Google it together. Literally your whole body is inside this thing. Basically like a really, really old fashioned like ventilator, but like your whole body is in it and you just have your head sticking out. That's crazy. Well, you really do learn new things every day. <laughs> okay, so I've just finished the book and I kind of understand what people mean when they didn't like the ending, but I actually kind of liked it and I feel like it tied in well to like the very beginning. It kind of ended on a cliffhanger, which is kind of nice. But yeah, I was right about it. Like I thought it was gonna be some big crazy twist and it wasn't, it was just like, it, not really a nice story because like a bad thing did happen, but like it was nice, kind of like the theme behind it was kind of wholesome and like the main character's life and like her heartbreak and everything was kind of nice. I mean, it's called Small Pleasures and she like realized what her little small pleasures in life are slash were and yeah i say were but she didn't die it's, it's not usual like it's not really the usual kind of book that i would read um i usually read like young adult slash fantasy vibes but it was nice i do like to read like a different genre every now and then just to kind of like broaden my horizon but yeah that was fun i've now read 19 books my Goodreads goal of the year is 30, but obviously if I read more, that'd be great. If I didn't reach it, it's not that deep. Like, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I guess that's it. That's all. I finished the book. It took me actually a really long time. I started making this video like three weeks ago, but here we are. We're at the end. I've given it a four stars out of five just because I'm only giving books that I think I would read again or like I would read again and 100% recommend to people or like there was some massive twist that I didn't see coming. Like it has to be really good basically for me to give it a five star. So four stars kind of like, I read it, I enjoyed it and it, you know, it was good. So that's a four star, but like a four star is kind of like my most common given written for a book, which means it was good. <laughs> there was a really in-depth explanation on how I rate books, but yeah, I'm gonna link my Goodreads in the description below because I like don't have many friends on there. So if you wanna add me on Goodreads, I'm not sure how it works, but yeah, if you wanna add me as a friend or follow the books that I'm reading, feel free to do that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And also, if you have any book recommendations, make sure you put them down below. I think I'm definitely going to do like the little Harry Potter series that I mentioned earlier on in the video and I think I'm also going to do like a reading popular TikTok books because there are so many books that I want to read and um yeah I might try and do like a readathon kind of like trying to read however many books in a week or something like that we will see but yeah definitely going to have more book videos on this channel so if that's something you're interested in make sure you subscribe um if you're not interested in that sorry i will also be posting like food videos and vlogs and stuff so don't worry there's something for everyone and yeah thank you so much for watching bye